It's a Tuesday afternoon here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange and U.S. stocks. They're continuing to struggle for a direction as investors continue to take in a slight recovery in oil prices following yesterday's plunge. In addition, on the economic front, June factory orders showing an increase of 1.8 percent. Shifting focus now over to the Forex markets. We first take a look at the U.S. dollar remaining on the upside with the euro dollar right now 0.13 percent higher at a read of 109.69. The British pound to U.S. dollar market also on the upside 0.23 percent at a read of 150. 623. This while the U.S. dollar to Japanese yen pair 0.09% lower at a final read of 123.89 yen. Shifting focus over to the Australian dollar U.S. dollar pair that is again in focus during these afternoon hours as the pair remains on the upside above the support at 0.73. Now long positions above the support at 0.73 are favored with targets at 0.7420 and 0.7450 in extension. Shifting focus now to precious metals. They continue to remain under pressure this afternoon. First, we take a look at gold, which remains under which remains in focus as gold's key resistance is at 1097.50. The upward potential should be limited by the 1097.50 price line, so short positions below that figure are favored for gold with targets at 1080 and 1073 in extension. And lastly, we conclude with silver prices right now just under half a percent higher at a read of 1463 a troy ounce. And don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter for all of your forex markets updates. And for Trading Central Web TV from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange on a Tuesday afternoon, I'm James Swinnett.